Hi, I'm Dennis with Mountain Vapor, and I'm here today to show you the AGA-T atomizer. Now this is a do-it-yourself type of atomizer because when you get it, the wick and the coil are not going to be installed, so you have to do that yourself. Um, it can be challenging for some people. The pieces you're dealing with, the little nuts and screws are very, very tiny. Um, if you have bad eyesight or poor hand coordination, any tremors or anything, it could be quite difficult to do. But if you think you can handle it uh, and manage to get that thing wired up, I'll tell you, this thing is great. It's like a locomotive. I mean, it gives an incredible vape, holds three milliliters of, uh, of liquid, and I really think uh, if you're able to put it together, you're going to be very, very happy with it. So it has a uh, standard 510 connection on it, and then uh, it doesn't come with a drip tip. Uh, but any 510 drip tip should work right on there. So uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at this thing in detail. Okay, so here you can see the tank. Nice shot of it there. Here's the top of the tank. This is where the, uh, the tip would go. It takes any type of uh, 510 tip will fit in there quite nicely. And we flip it around here. Here's your connection point. As you can see, it's just a uh, 510 connection. Now, when you get the tank, it's going to come with, of course, the tank, but you're also going to get a little goodie pack here. Now inside here, it's going to have your wick, your coil, some extra parts like nuts and screws and gaskets and washers. Uh, so it's all going to be in here. Now it does not come with a tip, but if you want to purchase a tip, we just kind of have a basic little drip tip here that we're going to sell with them. Uh, just be a dollar extra but most people already have 510 tips at home. And as I mentioned, any type of uh, 510 tip will fit in there just uh, nicely. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and uh, take this thing apart and then we'll put it back together and uh, put a wick on it and a coil. So to take it apart, the first thing you wanna do here is go ahead and unscrew the top. Okay, just like that, and now you can definitely see the uh, inner workings there. Again, the wick and coil are not currently on here, but uh, I'll show you that uh, here later on. All right, now to take it apart, the first thing we need to do here is we're gonna have to remove these nuts and um, the washer. There's two nuts, a washer, and then another nut underneath that washer. So we're gonna have to take all of those off first before we can take it apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the washers here. Whoops, just dropped one on the floor. There's one. Luckily, I do have uh, spare parts. So um, if, if you do lose one, uh, you'll have some extras. There's the other washer. There's the, my assistant brought me the washer back. Now here's the little, uh, I mean the nut back. Here's the washer. And we've got another little nut on here. Hopefully I won't drop it. These things are so tiny, they're almost hard to, hard to see. So there we have a washer, we've got a nut, we've got another nut, and we've got another nut. Now one thing I want you to notice here, we've got two larger nuts and one smaller nut here. The smaller of the three is the one that goes on on the bottom. Then you put your washer on and then the two larger nuts will go on top of that on this, uh, on this post right here. Okay. So now that we have those nuts removed, we can go ahead and take the bottom off. And that's accomplished simply by turning and unscrewing it. Now you can see that'll slide out. The plastic uh, tank part comes off. And there you have it. So now it's completely apart. You can see exactly how that comes apart. So here we have all the pieces here. You can see, if I can get them on the camera here. Whoa, it's rolling around here. So there you have it, completely disassembled. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and put this thing back together again. Now, before we can do that, the first thing we want to do is take our wick and go ahead and uh, wrap the coil around it. As you can see, that's exactly what I've done here. I'm not sure how well that's coming in on the camera. But basically, I took my uh, wire, the coil part, Kept a real tight spiral, wrapped it around about six, seven times. Left a little length on each side here, because uh, we're gonna have to uh, wrap those around the posts uh, in order to heat the coil up. So, now that we have that done, the next part here is to go ahead and take our top piece 
And if you look at this, you're going to see we've got this post sticking up right here. Now there's a screw in here. You want to go ahead and unscrew that because we're going to put one end of the coil through this little hole right here. Again, I just don't think that's going to show up on camera. But uh, anyways, there's a hole right here. We're going to run one wire through there. Then the other wire is going to wind up being wrapped around this post right here. Okay. Now, right next to the post that we're going to run the wire through, there's a screw right here. You're going to want to go ahead and remove that screw because one end of the wick needs to go through there. The other end of the wick will wind up going through here. You can see there's no screw there. There's another screw right here. Now we're going to use that screw to fill it. When we're all done, we'll remove that screw and uh, pour our liquid into there. So uh, there's our top piece. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the screw and run the wick through there. Okay, so now I went ahead and ran the wick through this top piece. If you can see that. And so I also went ahead and ran part of my wire through that post where I had unscrewed the top. And you can see I got it sticking out here. I just grabbed it, pulled all the way through, tightened down the screw, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and uh, cut that off uh, before we're done. Just leave a little short piece hanging out there. Okay, so now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tank and go ahead and drop the wick down and bring the tank all the way up to the top. Okay, grab the wick, tuck it back down into the tank, like so. Go ahead and take your bottom piece, and now we're simply going to run it through the bottom here, all the way up and through, and then you can go ahead and tighten it down. Alright, so there we have it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take our little gasket drop it down on the post. If you, recall, if you recall earlier, we've got three screws here. Two large, I mean screws, they're nuts, they're not screws. Two large, uh, they're nuts. Two large nuts and one small nut. And we're gonna go ahead and take the smallest of the three, put it on the post, and go ahead and screw that all the way down to the bottom. One thing bad about this is the pieces are so small. And if you have bad vision like I do, it can certainly be a challenge. Okay, now we're going to take one of the larger ones here. We're going to drop that on there. And we're going to go ahead and screw that one on as well. <laughs> you can see what kind of trouble I have here doing this. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the other end of our wire here and we're simply going to wrap it around here and then go ahead and uh, put our final nut on. So here we have the AGA completely put back together again with the wick installed on it. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. Now I went ahead and cut off that extra piece of little wire I had coming off my uh, post here. I clipped that off, I ran the other wire around here, put the nut back on, and there we go. So we are, we're ready to go here. All right, so let's go ahead and put some liquid in here. What you're gonna wanna do is remove this other screw right here. So we'll go ahead and take screwdriver here, remove that screw. All right, and then you're gonna take a bottle of liquid. Um, I just have some, uh, some rev here, so we're gonna we're gonna charge it up with a little rev. Now I just want to saturate that wick. One thing I haven't been able to figure out yet is how the liquid is not gonna leak out through the holes where the wick is running through. So uh, I actually have not tested this thing that thoroughly yet. But I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid in here, and I just want to really get that get those uh, that wick saturated. I'm not really gonna fill it all the way up until I can play with it a little bit more, but anyways, you're getting the idea here. Just keep filling it up, really get that wick saturated. It actually holds quite a bit of liquid. There we go. All right. And then we'll go ahead and add a little bit of liquid here right on, right across the 
top portion. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just let that sit for a few minutes, and then we'll uh, give her a vape. Okay, so I've got the AGAT hooked up to my battery now, and I actually went back and decided to go ahead and put some more liquid in there, because I was curious to see why, if the liquid would come out the holes where the wick is, and uh, interestingly enough, no leakage. Look at that. So that's, uh, that's good to know. This is a huge tank. I think this uh, holds three milliliters of liquid. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that thing and see how it vapes. There you go. Check it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and put our top on. Screw that back on. Now, as I mentioned uh, earlier, any 510 uh, tip will fit on here. I just kind of have one of our little black Durlin tips on there. And uh, let's see how it works. All right, so I hooked the uh, atomizer up to my 18650 mod. Uh, this particular mod doesn't have a cutoff on it, so as long as you keep pushing that button, it'll just keep going forever and ever and ever. Uh, but I'm very pleased with this atomizer. I think it really uh, does a, gives a good vape there. Let's go ahead and put the top on. There we go. I just have our uh, little cheap 510 drip tip on there. We'll give her a bake. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, I don't know what more you could ask for. It, it vapes good. Um, I think if you're capable of uh, putting that thing together, uh, go ahead and pick one up. I think you'll be very happy with it.